Hello everybody, it's Rika Sis, but it's Mac Hat Sphere, and I'm here with a video right here, a tutorial. Um, it's like an update on uh, how to roll cans with uh, the Chi Energy and Telekinesis, which is basically one thing. What you guys are looking at right here is a recent video of me rolling some cans with my Telekinesis, Chi Energy, and Presence, which is one thing. And um, I've recently gotten better at it. Uh, I, I've improved a lot, and I want to share some some insight. Now the thing is with this is that um and i need to be more consistent too but what well, the thing is though is that um with rolling cans you have to understand that now what you want to do is that you want to mess around with the can with your hand and kind of roll it around push it around a little bit see how it how it moves how fast it moves you know and get it on a nice flat surface like right here this is a good flat surface and you just kind of mess around with it physically with your hand and what you want to do is that you want to put the can in positions that you feel that it is hinged, that it is balanced, that it is just about to roll. You know, a lot of times it's hard to determine uh, which position the can, it, it, it's which Man, position is best to put the can um, on its side in order to get something to for it to roll. Now the thing is though is that this is the key to telekinesis and being able to affect objects is that you have to apply your own belief. And by applying your belief and by placing it in positions by faith, by placing the can in a position that you feel that it looks like or you feel it looks like and it feels like it will roll easier, that is where you will initiate a true connection with the can or any object to allow it to move. Because what it is is that in psychokinesis, Trevor Seven and I spoke about this a lot of times, and he spoke about it too on an interview. He said that psychokinesis, a lot of times, it's about tricking oneself. You know, you start off as a beginner, you trick yourself in believing that you moved the side wheel when probably you didn't, maybe it was a gust of wind or something like that. And then later on, all of a sudden, the magic happens. You are then able to develop true control and your intention to really move it when you want to, instead of it just being chance. And be a mistake, or, 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 or like like anything else. And that's the thing is that you also have to have. Um, I recommend you guys working with the side wheels because that is what led me to be able to move the can. You know, to get more better at it. I need to get more consistent with it, but I'm getting better, and it's feeling me and reacting to me, and it. I'm getting more better, and I'm very happy and proud to share these videos. You know, and I want to be able to also. Uh, do a, a story and tell a story and roll the can or, or even show it to people, my neighbors and all that when I get more better and you guys on live streams. But the thing is, is that with this is that you have to also have um, a sense of of a continuous stream of faith an un, and and um, a train of thought, a, a, a continuous flow of faith and belief that that you're anticipating and believing and having faith that the object will move. You can't have any doubt that breaks up that stream, that Man's flow, gone. that consistent, constant flow of faith and belief. That's why you got to get rid of all of that. And this is how you get more better. This is how you get more faster for results. You build up more potential energy in yourself and you, you're able to move on. This, this, I believe, will lead me to slide cups, upright cups on tables, flat surfaces. This is a completely balanced flat surface here. And, and... And the thing is that, that that's what it is, that it's, you know, you're putting the, the can in a position that you feel that it will roll. But what it is, is that it's all you. You may think that the can is more easy to roll, oh, in this position because it's like, you know, uh, more rounded. That That's all like a placebo. You're the one that's just creating faith. You're the one that's seeing the opening and making it happen. And that's the thing is that you just have to break through your own doubts of yourself and then you have breakthroughs, you know, like you, you just have to have those breakthroughs because sometimes the whole entire can isn't any easier on any part of it. It's all equally difficult to roll the can, you know, there is no easier part to make the can roll. Every part of the can is difficult, even a side wheel. No part is easier than the other. All of it is all equally difficult and easy at the same time, but it's up to you to break through. And yeah, I want you to stick with the side wheels because the side wheels are going to allow you to develop and get more better. You know, I want you to be able to do what I'm doing where you're pulling it from a distance and you're making it move left and right and following your chi energy and telekinesis, which is one thing. And so what it is, have a breakthrough, practice, watch my videos, you guys can do it.